So as you can see, we are in the midst of a fan hub at the moment. And these take a little bit of time, around 15 hours. And as you can see from the top, you can see how I have a specific type of diurotal infill and a specific type of wall thicknesses, which give the hub the integrity to hold those blades in place that lock into them, that slide in there, like you see on the big fan or the finished fan that I have outside. So that gives you kind of an idea. Plus the gyroidal infill gives me a flexibility. So this thing can expand a certain degree without having any kind of cracks or malfunctions inside the actual hub itself. In other words, this area can pull outward slightly with the flex of the PETG, depending on the RPMs. And we're talking very light flex. But because of that gyroidal infill, it gives it that ability to actually pull out. And with a thicker wall, what you end up getting is the rigidity from the outside holds everything into place. And then that flexible sort of spongy gyroidal infill that allows it to expand when needed. Even if it's just half a millimeter, quarter millimeter, or even less, to make sure that these blades stay in place and they don't come out or the whole thing breaks right here. So... Uh, there, was a des there was a design concept behind the infill and the walls during printing as well as the fan itself. So it's, yeah, a lot of different things went into this. That being said, that's kind of the principle that I applied to the bearing seats and everything else. That had basically thick wall but enough of a dampening kind of infill to where you can absorb some of the vibration from, uh, you know, the inconsistencies in the, in the plastic. It's not always gonna be symmetrically balanced. It's not gonna be dynamically balanced. It's, it's basically not going to be absolutely perfect on an FDM print. So you take that into consideration when you're putting it together as well as printing it. From designing it to printing it, there's two things you have to look at, and that's gonna be the des overall design and then how it's printed. So that's where your machine comes into play. So you gotta know your machine specs. I had to go through all that, but you know, Shrike Ultra, is, Shrike Ultra is starting to grow from the ground up, or should I say the plate up? So don't miss it. It's gonna keep going.